Hello again Warren Builders and while Warren's manual as the current stage advises me to start building the gantry I think I will not do that because gantry is heavy, gantry is bulky, you have to monitor protruding and it's still wobbly and I'd like to fix it on a frame uh, before I actually tighten everything up and when it's fixed in frame and now everything is in, is, uh, in a correct position uh, then I will assemble uh, the gantry and do the belt work so this video I will install the gantry on the frame and probably tighten everything up to simplify my task I will remove the motors because you know sorry for everyone who is following the video as a manual um, the motors are bulky heavy and wouldn't allow me to move things around as easy I would like to with a more lightweight frame and the motors being uh, off let me explain how the Z belting works and Z belts are still held together by these small uh, ascented plates so you put one end of your Z belt here then you thread it through the idler Z top idler then you thread it through this hole you move it around the motor shaft like this and then it gets fixed by another uh, plate Z belt plate on the bottom side. The bottom plate is also part of the mechanism which uh, secures the gantry to the linear uh, rails, to the linear carriages. And this happens with the help of these two parts. Uh, this one, which gets attached to the gantry, and this one, which uh, is adjacent to the pressure plate. So how does one actually attach uh, the gantry to the linear uh, carriages? These three parts, which does the trick. This one is the belt clip, so you just press it down and uh, put your belt here. You will need to install two nuts into the, your extrusion, one M3, one M5, and uh, put two screws through so this part, therefore attaching the plate to the extrusion. Before you attach this part you will need to put M5 nut here. And when you put your M5 nut here you will be able to attach this part with a large uh, 40 mm I suppose. 40. Yeah, 40 mm uh, M5 screw. And when you do so, the parts are not fixed very tightly. In fact, even after tightening, even after assembling everything together, they'll have some kind of free play, which allows you to compensate for little irregularities in your uh, build. So this is kind of a joint, a sliding joint between your gantry and your uh, linear carriage. With this explained, at least for myself, let's uh, put the gantry in place. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift my carriage somewhere in the middle of the linear rail, so we'll have a lot of space both under and over the gantry. I will install hex nuts into these parts, and five hex nuts. Let's also prepare the screws, so uh, all are 30 mm screws, uh, BHCS ball headed M5 screws and 30 mm um, M3 screws. Now let's install both M5 and M3 T nuts into the extrusions. Now when the base and the belt are secure, let's take one 40 mm M5 screw and attached the plate, the part which is then attached to the carriage. I will not tighten them down yet, I will just tighten them slightly and will allow them to move freely. Yes, this should work. And now let's secure this block 
uh, the carry edges using 20 millimeter MC screws. I will do another screw for each of the carry edges so I get all the construction level. At this point I'm 99% sure that I can tighten these carry edge blocks, which I will do right now. And yes, I'm using some power tools to assemble the 3D printers. Sorry for that. So the belt goes down. And then should go into the motor. Into the Z motor assembly. Go over the pulley. Ah, oh, this is tricky. And by the way, it takes enormous amount of tension to turn on the Z motors. I'm kind of pulling really hard. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah, I shouldn't. <laughs> Let's put through the upper angler here. Oh, come on. Go through. Okay, here it is. And let's put it back through the second belt clip. I suppose at this point I can tighten the brackets a bit. I will be tightening the belts uh, as the finishing step of the assembly, of course. And install this bottom screw here. which secures the gantry to the bottom block. Let's continue to the next one. Come on! Let's do some pre-flight checks before tightening anything. First of all, the gantry moves freely back and forth. It actually takes a lot of force because we have an 80T spoolie with a 20T sidler. Let's see Warren's manual about tightening these screws down there because I don't want to tighten them too much because if I don't tighten them too much it means they won't allow the gantry to rock. They will fix it in place which of course nobody wants. Let's see the manual. Unfortunately the manual says nothing about the screws. So I will tighten them, not much, just enough so I can lift one end of the gantry. Again, the belts are not tightened yet, I will tighten all the belts somewhere closer to the finish of the build. Uh, but what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna install back all the motors and this time we will realign the wiring. So the previous, uh, in my previous attempt to assemble the gantry, I installed motors in this direction with the wires facing backwards. Now I will make them, I will install them facing the middle like this because I assume that all the wiring will go somewhere here through this hole and therefore there I will have all the uh, motor wiring, all the Core XY system motor wiring. This should be enough for this evening, and see you next time.